What's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And this is a quick unboxing. Hopefully, I'm going to unbox this, do a little setup, and show you what they look like. And hopefully in the video, and, you know, introduce you guys to a cool new product. So, I'm going to go ahead and unwrap it. And there you have it. It's a foldable Bluetooth stereo headset made by the one and only Anchor. Uh, so, it looks like there's a seal but on mine it has been broken not a big deal this is was sent to me by anchor so that's pretty much just a box let's toss that to the side all right here we have it let's open this sucker up see what these things look like uh the seal is not broken so that's cool the box it just looked like it was broken from the sleeve cover, but no big deal. Let's go ahead and cut the seal open. And then take this, flip it up. That is very small. And a neat little message from Anchor saying, thank you for choosing Anchor. And that right there. And then here's the little headphones. So we'll just uh, grab this. Pull these out of here. That is really compact. The first impressions are, dang, this thing is just, like, that's unreal. And then you have a micro USB. Oh, no. Okay, that's not micro USB. So you are going to need to make sure you have one of these. Um, I can't remember what that's called. I think I have one other cable that's like that. The one cable that you can't use for anything. So I should be able to use it to charge this as well. And then you have a little carrying case for your headphones. Uh, you can just take these and put them in here like such. And then you can also take your little charging cable, stick it in there if you wanted to, seal it up. And now you have some protected headphones. And in here you have more stuff about Anchor and join our power user program. Um, you have a guide or quick setup and then you also have one that's in English instruction manual and you can go to iAnchor.com for more information about their latest products now I'm not much of a carrying case kind of person so and usually if it comes with a charging cable I don't even you pull that out because I have so many of them that I don't need them but since this uses a special cable then gonna have to use it it would have been nice if they would have gone with micro usb since someone like me has literally hundreds of them in every nook and cranny of their house <laughs> but it is what it is so there's the earphones let's go ahead and unhook this and or undo this and see how long this is oh i was playing with the I was looking for my HTC One and I was tearing through boxes like no one's business. And one of my five blade Schwick or whatever like razors for your face was in there. And I was doing like that. I was going through the box like that and it freaking bit me. It got me good. My skin went like, I think it cut it like four separate ways. It was, ugh. I don't think my fingertip will ever feel the same again. It's... Oh, I'm so mad at that razor. <laughs> it comes with approximately rough estimate about two to three foot cable to charge it. So it's not bad. It's not bad at all. There's a close look and nice and focused. It looks like you have a power and an answer or end button. You have a volume up and down. You have a play and pause button. Or no, that's a skip track button right there. So you can like go to the next track, go to the previous track, turn the volume up, turn the volume down. And on this side, it doesn't look like it does anything. And then there's a little charging port on the, uh, does it say left or right? Anyways. So there's the little charging thing. Now this is a Bluetooth uh, headphone. So any device that has Bluetooth like Android or iOS or <laughs> Windows phone or even like a computer. This little guy right here is only like $14.99 on Amazon the last time I checked. 
I actually did a video on this little guy a long time ago. I can link to it in the description below if I remember. I can check the video out if you want to. And this also has a link to purchase it in that video. So I'll link to the video, you can view the video, and you can click the link in the description on that video, and you can buy this little guy if you want to. Basically, any, I mean any computer, my little laptop doesn't have Bluetooth. And with this little $14 connector, $15 connector, you can stick this in your computer and now your computer can connect to your phone via Bluetooth for Bluetooth tethering, connect to your tablet, connect to your headphones, your uh, a wireless or a Bluetooth mouse, Bluetooth keyboard, anything Bluetooth this little guy can connect to. So you can have this hooked up into your little laptop that normally wouldn't have Bluetooth and you can have these headphones paired to this guy right here. All right, I'm one of those guys that does not read instructions unless I absolutely cannot figure something out on my own. So, I've dealt with a few Bluetooth devices in my days, so I'm gonna go ahead and hold down the power button for a few seconds. Oh, it's got a blue light on it. Now it's red and blue. It's obviously telling me it's in pairing mode, so I'm gonna drag down my notifications, and I'm gonna go to my Bluetooth settings, turn this on, and then uh, it's finding my Bluetooth speakers. They're really loud. I really like them a lot. So it's going to be scanning, hopefully, for that thing right there. Uh, I thought red and blue would mean pairing. Maybe I'm wrong or I'm just not giving enough time. There we go. It found what I believe to be the headphones. So we're just going to go ahead and... Hope that this SH5 is the headphones. If I had read a guide or... Oh, it stayed red. Now it's flashing blue. Kind of steady. Alright, so let's open up some Google Play Music here. Which isn't in my Google folder. Gonna have to fix that right now. No, let's open up Power Amp. All right, so I got some Eminem going. Freaking love, love, love the CD. It flashed like a blue and a red at the same time. It's pul It's like pulsing. Let's turn it up. I can hear the earphones. Alright, let's turn up the head. Volume on here. I'm going to go ahead and try these on. Now, I could simply just be missing where it says L and R. But I'm not seeing it on here. In this YouTube video by Comedy Hunter. It's saying left channel and this speaker's going off and then right channel and this speaker's going off. So the left earpiece is going to be the ones with all the controls on it and the right one's going to be the one that has the charging and no controls. Just remember that. All right, so I did a little bit of research and apparently you take them like this and then you stick them on the back of your head. I will demonstrate. You're gonna have to excuse my ugly mug for just a second. Plus it's No Shave November and I'm fully participating in that right now. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what these things look like on your head and how they go on. Now I have my Nexus 5 here and I'm just gonna go ahead and pick it up and press the play button and start listening to some Eminem. Now I'm not very good at these voiceovers. I'm pretty new to it and I suck at timing what's going on in the screen and what I'm talking about. But here's the gist of it. The controls have volume up and volume down and they work very well. Pressing the skip button takes you to the next track. Pressing the rewind button takes you back to the previous track. Now holding it doesn't rewind or at least it doesn't for me on Power Ramp and my X5, but that's fine. The little button in the middle that's like a answer or a phone call or hang up or whatever, that'll pause the track and it will resume playing the song too, so that's pretty cool. One thing that I really, really enjoy about these headphones and I will be wearing these quite frequently actually, is the fact that they're very light. You hardly notice they're on your head. They're pretty loud, they sound good. I'm actually kind of maybe a little bit in love with these headphones. 
they're freaking awesome and you don't even realize they're on your head like i said earlier they're very 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 light now for a minute you're gonna see me dancing like an idiot and acting a fool but whatever it is what it is I've been listening to Eminem since the Marshall Mathers LP, and then I remember being young and 16 and barely able to buy the CD by myself, and I bought the Eminem show with 20 bucks that I had earned, and ever since then, I've just been an Eminem fan, so yeah. Anyways, without wasting your time and making the video any longer, I will have a link to these headphones in the description below. You can buy them on Amazon for the best price possible, and if you have Amazon Prime like I do, you'll get free two-day shipping. And in my state, there's not any taxes on Amazon, so it works out pretty well. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up by clicking the like button below. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I do a lot of videos, and I have a couple more videos I have to edit today, and there'll be several more videos throughout the week. And I will be unboxing the Xbox One Friday morning when it's available. And I unboxed the PS4 a couple days ago on midnight release. So if you want to see more videos, please subscribe. I'll have links to my Twitter, my Twitch TV where I live stream for my PS4. And I'll be live streaming from the Xbox One. And I'll have links to my Instagram, my Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Plus, pretty much everything in the description below. In the description, you'll see a little thing that says show more. Click that and you'll see like all the links in the description below. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.